Hey, good afternoon. Chuck here at Garden Spot Acres. We've got another unboxing and assembly of a tool cabinet today. I just went out and bought the Harbor Freight wall mounted tool cabinet. It's about four feet wide, two feet high, and something like eight inches deep. There's some mixed reviews on this on their site. I'm going to go ahead and check it out, see what it's really like. Let's take a look. All right, there's a picture of the tool cabinet on the carton. It's 19 gauge steel, 47 and a quarter inches wide, 23 and 5 eighths high, and 7 and 7 eighths inches deep. So this is a great space saver. Heavy duty 20 gauge cabinet bolts to your wall. Over here it said 19 gauge. Hmm, wonder what it really is. It's got three compartments, two keys for each compartment, and two shelves in each compartment. Looks like if it's decent quality, it sh should be pretty handy. Let's go ahead and get this thing unboxed and check out how they packed it and see what damage there is to it. All right, let's cut this open. Be careful, maybe there's nothing on the top of it. Yep, they have cardboard in here anyway. So it's got the outer box and it's got an inner box protecting the item. Then it just lifts right off. And here we have the parts. Okay. Back panel. Must be some shelves. Got a pebble, not a pebble finish, but a rough finish on here. I don't know, pretty, uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, just see how durable that finish is. Uh, pretty durable finish, doesn't scratch easy. Um, that real cheapy styrofoam in there. Like we have a front, a couple more shelves. Now well, they did pack styrofoam in between the parts anyways. Got the doors are labeled. This is the right door. Let's see how it labeled that one. The center door. Okay. Another back panel. And this is the first damage I've seen here. You can see that? That's bent out. That guy's probably easily bent back. We'll have to fix that when we get to it. Look like the other shelves. More styrofoam. left door and the third back piece all right eh, pretty decent shape okay let's get into our second box here this is going to have your top and bottom pieces in it all right, same kind of packing here. You have an outer box and an inner box. At least they're trying to keep their stuff protected. Let's see what we got. Must be a top panel. Or bottom panel. You can tell they can tell this is they cheaped out here. This is that real light, flimsy, flaky styrofoam. Look at my review or watch my review on the Husky tool cabinets from Home Depot, and you see a huge difference in the way this stuff is packed. All 
All right, there must be the top or a bottom. We got the should be four of these. I would imagine these are sides, they don't label them. That's probably a middle piece. Hmm, yeah, that's another piece for the uprights. Hardware package, three locks. And some little bolts and nuts in there. Brackets, two brackets to mount to the wall and the directions. I got all the panels laid out here. The three back panels, they have clips on them. You can see where the shelves are gonna sit into these things. So you want those facing up. Looks like this. Here, put it against the white cabinet. You see that? And they're identical panels. The holes are all the same. So there's no worry here about which one's which. Now your side panels, you have a rolled edge here. You can see it right there. That's gonna be the face of the cabinet. So this has to be the left side of the cabinet. Again, the tabs have to be up. Here's the right side of the cabinet. There's that rolled edge again, right here. Tabs are up. Now these two here are different. So I'm gonna have to be careful with those two. Those are the center pieces, the center uprights. So these are not the same, one's doubled on the face and this one's single so I have to figure out which one which, which one of those is which okay shelves are over here I'm pretty sure as I put them there they all looked the same identical okay. here's the big top they have a rolled edge on them also so you can see that's the face and here's the bottom, got a rolled edge on it. You see it right there? That's gonna be the, the facing the front of the cabinet. And we have our doors laid out on the floor down there. All right, first step is to take our right side panel and we're going to slide that into the bottom panel like this. You see this? Lip here slides into that slot right there. Lip into that slot. Just make sure that you're putting the panel, the side panel on top of the bottom panel. All right. Then you can lift that up carefully, put a bolt in from the bottom. I'm gonna put this right on cardboard. Okay, put a nut on there. I'm gonna go ahead and do the front bolt. Now, I'm gonna leave a link to the Husky Home Depot cabinets. They were, a, they were like a pleasure to put together. These cabinets, you can just see that they're a little bit cheaper built. The Husky cabinets, and these cabinets over here, I'm talking about the big tall cabinets. Every bolt had a pre-threaded insert for it. There were no nuts. That was definitely a pleasure to put together. This is just gonna be a little bit more unhandy. I'm just gonna tighten all these by hand, okay? So there's the right side. Now we're gonna grab the left side and we're gonna put it on the same way. Okay. Again, make sure that rolled edge, you can see it right here. 
Make sure that rolled edge is in the front. All your rolled edges, that's your clean edge. Okay. And we're going to slide that right in there like that. Grab another little bolt. You can see the little bolt in my hand. Feed that up from the bottom. Again, it helps if you have something underneath here. You can put pressure on without scratching your surface. I'm using cardboard over here and some heavier styrofoam over here. Pop this one in. Finger tighten these. Next step, I got my, I got the cabinet upright on a surface here. I got a back drop here. I could put my back panel in, my first back panel. Let's put the right one in. It just sits and the side panel sits over top of it. And that's all there is to it. Okay. You take your middle panel, set that right next to that panel. And that's why you need to have something behind it to lean it against. And I did the left panel like I did the right panel and it's holding itself up with the side. Okay. So that's the next step. Put your back panels in. Again, make sure the top here of the side panel, see it? Make sure that's on above the back panel. We're all set to put the center, our first center panel in now. We got the side panels on, we got the three back panels. Now we're gonna take the first one from the right, which is that double lip one. Here, I'll compare them side by side for you. You have a double lip here in my left hand, a single lip in my right hand. All right, take the double lip one, we're gonna place it in so that this edge here, goes into those slots on the bottom like that okay. and then just like on the there we go we just got to make sure that that center lip is on resting on the back so I'll be checked that I can show you here you can see it here the center lip has to be on the top of the back panel. All right. Let me just go ahead and tap this into place here on the bottom. Oop. There we go. All right. That just slides in like that. And there's a hole down here that tells you where this middle panel has to slide over to. Okay. So that's all together. Now just take one of those little bolts, feed it through the holes, make sure it goes through all three panels. It's going to go through the right hand back panel, the center panel, and the middle panel. So that's going to connect all three of them together. Just like that. If you got large hands, well, this is not going to be a picnic for you. Tiny little bolts. I swear they're like erector set size. There. Well, that's put together. Now we're going to grab that other center panel. Again, make sure the tabs are up. If you put it in backwards, your shelves aren't gonna work. So make sure the tabs are up. Do the same thing, slide that slot into the bottom. It's going together pretty well. I mean, it's pretty easy. Make sure again that this center edge here, this center lip is on top of the lip of the back panel. All right. 
I'm gonna tap that bottom over. Okay, let me grab a couple more of those tiny little bolts. And since I'm right handed, I'm gonna feed these through the same way. There we go. That one on. Okay. So we got the bottom, right side, left side, three back panels, and our two center panels together. All right, I just put my top on, just the, the top goes on exactly like the bottom. Right. Your side panel that has a lip on it up here, make sure it's underneath the top panel. Same thing over here, let me back it out, I can show you. You can see it right there. That just slides in like that. Gives you that nice finished edge here. And make sure before you hammer on this, make sure that this face of this center piece is beyond back here. Make sure it's on the back side of that. It's a tight fit. And you gotta make sure it's all the way down. All right? So there's the top. It's just a mirror image of the bottom. All right, exactly the same. You can see the bottom here. It's just like the top. All right, so over here you can see the top. There's the bottom. It looks exactly the same. On the bot, on the side, on the bottom, here's that lip here. Comes out, extends right to there. Go up here, and it extends here. Don't put that on the top, it goes on the inside. It doesn't go on the top here. Make sure it gets on the inside. Everything then will fit right together. Now we're ready for our doors. Okay, I'm gonna start with my right door. They are labeled, can only go one way. You want the hinges on the right hand side, the lock in the middle. And that pin right here is gonna go down into that hole. And it's gonna go into this hole up here on the top panel. So I gotta kick that top panel up a little bit. Then I can kick it back down. There we go. Here's my center door. Same thing, gotta pop that back up. One of those things you wish you had like six hands. Did I actually get it? Hey, we got it. So I got the all the way down. Now I can go ahead and bolt that thing together. And I'm gonna do this side here. Putting this together, after I put the Husky cabinets together from Home Depot, I feel like I'm in 1980 putting a cabinet together. I already got these in like I showed. So I got a bolt here and a bolt there.
All right, my last bolts I need to put in. I'm just snugging up these screws now. Got all those bolts tightened. Now we're gonna put our shelves in. Here's the front. The back looks like this. Just like all the other parts. The formed rolled edge goes in the front. Gotta make sure all those are into the tabs. There, that one's in. Next step is gonna be put the locks in. Every lock comes with two keys. And they are key to like. Got one of our locks. They have all the hardware is on it in the right placement. So I was going to take that apart. Make sure it stays in the right placement. That way I don't have to worry about it. My door up here, put the lock in. Take the nut, tighten that on. If you ever put nuts on uh, junction boxes before, basically the same thing here. You can take a screwdriver, and tighten that nut like that. Take your latch, put the latch on like that. Can't go backwards, it's gonna to be too tight. So you're gonna have the gap in it. You can see the gap right here, see it? I'm gonna to have to put on. Take your hardware, all your little hardware pieces, put them on the same way they came off. Tighten that on. We got one more to put on. There we go. Cabinet is done. All right, one last thing before we wrap up. It does come with six pegboard hooks. So if you want any more, you're probably gonna have to find some metric ones or something. Because these are not one inch holes. These are one and three sixteenths, but they fit in here anyways. They fit the pegboard that's in here. But if you have a, any one inch that you want to use, you're going to have to stretch them apart to make them work. But it does, like I said, it comes with six. Yeah, my plan here, I'm going to put this, I'm going to put a strip of wood on the wall so it can rest on the wall. Then I'll find my studs behind it and use the holes that are in the back panel and just screw this to the studs. Thanks for coming along on this video. I appreciate you guys watching the videos. I'm on uh, Facebook, Garden Spot Acres, Instagram, Garden Spot Acres, and of course on YouTube, Garden Spot Acres. Thanks for coming along today. Oh, I was going to show you the little cart that I built. That's built with a Harbor Freight furniture dolly. 
Okay, the furniture dolly and about $15 worth of lumber. And it's a handy garage cart. I'll leave a link to the video. Again, thanks for coming along. I appreciate it. Got new videos coming out every Sunday and Wednesday mornings at 6 a.m. And I'd appreciate it if you like this video, please hit the like button. YouTube loves the like button. The more likes I get, the more recommendations it'll get. And it takes a lot of work to put these videos out and I appreciate it if you guys would help me out there. All right, so if you haven't subscribed, please do and hit that like button. We'll see you on the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye.